I was always one to enjoy the convenience and affordability of shopping at Walmart. From groceries to household items, it was my go-to store for everything I needed. That is, until that fateful day when my routine trip to Walmart turned into a nightmare I could never forget. It was a typical Saturday afternoon, bright and bustling, as I navigated my way through the crowded aisles of the Walmart Supercenter. The hum of voices, the beeping of carts, and the occasional ringing of the cash registers created a symphony of consumerism around me. As I perused the shelves for the items on my list, I couldn't shake off the feeling that something was off, something sinister lurking beneath the fluorescent lights. I brushed off my unease as I continued my shopping, but as I made my way to the checkout counters, a sudden chill ran down my spine. The air around me felt heavy, oppressive, as if trapping me in a suffocating embrace. I glanced around, expecting to see something out of the ordinary, but all I saw were shoppers going about their business, oblivious to the growing sense of dread creeping up inside me. As I approached the cashier, a middle-aged woman with tired eyes and a forced smile, I noticed a peculiar sound beneath the usual beeps of scanned items. It was a soft, almost imperceptible whisper that seemed to echo from the walls themselves. I strained my ears to make out the words, but they were just beyond my comprehension, like a forgotten language from a distant time. My heart pounding in my chest, I quickly paid for my items and hurried out of the store, eager to escape the oppressive atmosphere that had engulfed me. But as I stepped outside, I realized that the horror was far from over. The parking lot, once filled with cars and chatter, was now eerily silent, as if time itself had frozen in that moment. I fumbled for my keys, my hands trembling with fear as I approached my car. And then I saw it, a figure standing in the shadows, a silhouette that seemed to shift and warp in the dim light. My blood ran cold as I realized that it was not alone, that more of these shadowy shapes were emerging from the darkness, their eyes glowing with an otherworldly gleam. I fumbled with my keys, my heart racing as I finally managed to unlock the car door and scramble inside. I turned the key in the ignition, the engine roaring to life as I slammed my foot on the gas pedal, desperate to escape the nightmare that had enveloped me. As I sped away from the Walmart, the figures in the parking lot dwindling in my rearview mirror, I couldn't shake off the feeling that I had stumbled upon something beyond my understanding, something dark and malevolent that lurked within the very walls of that store. Days turned into weeks, and yet the memory of that Walmart horror story haunted me like a shadow a constant reminder of the inexplicable terror I had witnessed. I tried to go about my life as usual, but the whispers and the shadows lingered at the edge of my consciousness, a constant presence that threatened to engulf me in its darkness. And then, one night, as I lay in bed, the echoes of that fateful day still fresh in my mind. I heard it, the soft whispering, the same incomprehensible words that had filled the air in that Walmart supercenter. I sat up, my heart pounding in my chest as the whispers grew louder, more insistent, as if demanding to be heard. I tried to block them out, to convince myself that it was just my imagination running wild, but the whispers persisted, growing in intensity until they felt like a cacophony inside my head. And then, just as suddenly as they had started, they stopped, leaving behind a suffocating silence that pressed down on me like a weight. I knew then that I could never truly escape the Walmart horror story, that it had become a part of me, a darkness that would always linger at the edge of my consciousness, waiting to strike when I least expected it. And as I lay there in the darkness, a cold chill running down my spine, I realized that some horrors are beyond explanation, beyond comprehension, lurking in the most unexpected of places, waiting to ensnare unsuspecting souls in their grip. It was a typical Friday night when I decided to make a quick run to Walmart to grab some last-minute groceries. The familiar yellow glow of the store's sign beckoned me from the darkening sky as I pulled into the parking lot. As I entered the store, the usual hustle and bustle of shoppers filled the air, but something felt off. I headed towards the food aisles, my footsteps echoing in the cavernous space. The fluorescent lights hummed overhead, casting harsh shadows on the shelves. It was strangely quiet, 
with only the low murmur of distant voices reaching my ears. As I walked past the canned goods display, a chill ran down my spine, though the store was warm. I shook off the feeling and continued down the aisle, my eyes scanning the shelves for the items on my list. But as I turned the corner, I froze. There was a figure at the end of the aisle, standing perfectly still. It was a man, dressed in ragged clothes, his face obscured by shadows. I tried to shake off the unease creeping over me, telling myself he was just another shopper. But as I moved closer, I realized something was off about him. His gaze was fixed on me, unblinking and intense. I felt a wave of dread wash over me, but I pushed through it and hurried past, not daring to look back. As I made my way through the store, I noticed more strange occurrences. Items seemed to shift on the shelves when my back was turned, and whispers floated through the air, just out of reach. I quickened my pace, wanting nothing more than to get out of there. But then I reached the checkout line, and that's when things took a turn for the worse. The cashier was staring at me with vacant eyes, her expression blank. I handed her my items, but when she scanned them, the machine emitted a screeching noise that made my skin crawl. Desperate to leave, I grabbed my bag and rushed towards the exit. But as I pushed open the doors, a gust of icy wind blasted in my face. The parking lot was shrouded in darkness, the streetlights flickering ominously. And that's when I saw them. Figures, shadowy and indistinct, moving between the parked cars. Terrified, I fumbled for my keys, my heart pounding in my chest. I could hear their whispers growing louder, their presence closing in around me. With trembling hands, I finally managed to unlock my car door and jumped inside, slamming it shut behind me. I peeled out of the parking lot, the image of those figures burned into my mind. I couldn't explain what had just happened, but one thing was clear. Walmart was not the ordinary store I thought it was. As I drove away, the echoes of those whispers followed me, a chilling reminder of the horrors that lurked within its walls. From that day on, I vowed never to return to that Walmart, haunted by the inexplicable terrors I had encountered that night. I never thought a routine trip to Walmart could turn into a nightmare, but that's exactly what happened one fateful evening. It was a chilly autumn night, and the fluorescent lights of the Walmart parking lot flickered ominously as I parked my car. I brushed off the feeling of unease that washed over me, attributing it to the late hour and the empty parking lot. As I stepped out of my car, the air seemed to grow colder, sending shivers down my spine. Pushing my cart through the automatic doors, I entered the brightly lit store. The familiar smell of cleaning chemicals mixed with the scent of cheap plastic greeted me as I navigated the aisles. Everything seemed normal at first, but as I made my way deeper into the store, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. The aisles stretched out endlessly before me, each one identical to the last. It felt like I was walking in circles, unable to find what I came for. The fluorescent lights buzzed overhead, casting eerie shadows on the shelves. My heart began to race as I realized that I was alone in this vast, labyrinthine store. I tried to shake off my growing sense of dread and focus on my shopping list, but the aisles seemed to shift and rearrange themselves when I wasn't looking. Items appeared and disappeared from the shelves, as if mocking my attempts to find them. Panic bubbled up inside me as I struggled to make sense of what was happening. Suddenly, I heard a faint whisper echoing through the aisles. It was a voice, soft and sinister, speaking words that I couldn't quite make out. I froze in place, listening intently as the whispers grew louder, surrounding me from all sides. I felt as though I was being watched, scrutinized by unseen eyes lurking in the darkness. Desperate to escape, I abandoned my cart and began to run, my footsteps echoing loudly in the empty store. But no matter how fast I ran, I couldn't seem to find the exit. The aisles stretched on endlessly, leading me in circles as the whispers grew louder and more insistent. I stumbled and fell, my heart pounding in my chest as I struggled to catch my breath. That's when I saw it, a figure standing at the end of the aisle, bathed in shadow. It was tall and thin, with impossibly long limbs that seemed to contort and twist in unnatural ways. Its eyes gleamed with a malevolent light as it watched me, 
its lips curling into a cruel smile. Terrified, I scrambled to my feet and fled, the creature's laughter echoing in my ears as I ran. I finally burst through the doors and into the parking lot, gasping for air as I stumbled towards my car. I didn't look back as I drove away, desperate to leave that nightmare behind me. To this day, I can't shake the feeling that Walmart holds secrets far darker than anyone could imagine, and I pray that I never have to set foot in that store again.